All right, this video is just to make sure your packet is going to be ready and you're going to get 100 when you turn your packet in tomorrow. What I am doing is I am going to go to our Unit 7 PowerPoints that go along with this packet. So in my drive, I click on Unit 7 PowerPoints. I'm going to present it. You see this calendar that shows you we had a quiz yesterday. First block, you had a second attempt or second try to take the quiz. You wasn't here yesterday, you're taking the quiz now. Pause the video, go to Canvas on the Unit 7, look for quiz two, put in this access code, one word, two capital letters. For everybody else, we are moving on. Um, on Wednesday, when I come back, you will have a, your Unit 7 packet will be due. You're gonna turn this in to me, complete it. And we're gonna have a Unit 7 test on that day as well. When you get graded today, I will form the grade. It's gonna be about how much video of the video did you watch? And you're great for answering the questions. So make sure you're following along so we can get it 100. So this video won't really reiterate what we learned in class, but it's going to reiterate how we filled out the packet in case you're missing something. All right, so we started off trying to figure out um, cell differentiation, cell specialization. How do you make different cells in your body? How do you make specialized cells in your body? We know that all cells have the same DNA, but they're not different. Stem cells start off with no jobs and then get a signal to become specialized or differentiated. If you don't have this on page 143 filled in, you can access this PowerPoint in your Google Drive and make sure you fill it in. Then we went to the bottom of page 143. At the bottom of page 143, we watched this video right here and we summarized the video. If you didn't do that, hop on back in your Google folder and make sure you watch this video and you summarize it. This video can be accessed if you access Unit 7 PowerPoints. On page 144, we talked about abiogenesis and spontaneous generation and a few experiments about it. And we also talked about the theory of biogenesis and a video to figure out how did the first life form start. On page 144 at the bottom, there's one through seven, questions one through seven, and then there is an experiment set up on the side. You watch this video, and it's gonna answer questions one through seven that you can access if you open up the PowerPoint in our Google Drive. And then we try to figure out what parts of this experiment were similar to real life. For example, this right here represented the ocean. On page 145, we filled in this table right here. I'm talking about the macromolecules of the biomolecules. So protein is one example. You wrote in the monomer, the function, the shape of all of them. Also, after this, what you did was you filled in this diagram showing how we went from simple molecules all the way up to the living cells that we have today. Again, if you need a moment to go back to write this in, you can access the PowerPoint in a Google folder right now. I'm just showing you how we filled out this packet. Moving on, we talked about the gases that were in the atmosphere, and then we had to talk about the gas that was missing. We circled the fact that if we had no oxygen in the environment, on day one, then what type of organisms did we have? Anaerobic or aerobic organisms. We talked about the evolution of cells, how we started off as unicellular, prokaryotic, and aerobic cells, and how we ended up with the cells that we have today. We also filled in a few equations and organelles that go with the aerobic respiration and the equation in the organelle that goes with photosynthesis if you need help go to page number 46 in your binder to help you out 46 or 47 on the bottom of page 146 you had this little activity that you did um we want to write down what we learned what we know what we want to know this was your group hypothesis so answering the last question there was no right or wrong answer so as long as you did it you get the credit for it I'm going to go over to page 147. We have to fill out the endosymbiotic theory. We 
I wanted to figure out which organelle was the aerobic bacteria and when the cells ate the photosynthetic bacteria, what organelles do we call that today? We wrote that in. On page 147, we did that practice either in or outside of class. We answer questions one, two, three, and four. To help out with question two, we had to draw a graph. If you don't have the graph, you haven't looked to your neighbor, get that graph. Perfect. And then on the bottom of page 147, you had seven questions to agree or dis disagree with. Um, and at that moment, it was a pain question, so no right or wrong answer. Just make sure you have all seven of them complete. We talked about mutation and natural selection. And we started doing a natural selection and rock pocket mice activity on page 148. On page 148, there were some pictures that we had to put in order according to how many mice was at each location. And we watched a video that went with it as well. If you need this picture or video, you're going to hop in your Unit 7 folder. The pictures or instructions are right here. And the video is if you open up Unit 7 PowerPoint, you'll be able to access this slide to watch the video. This goes for page 148 and 149 and top of 150. Started so talking about evolution at the bottom of 150, about Lamarck and his theory, and about Charles Darwin and his theory. Uh, and then we filled in this chart right here on page 151, and we also filled in this passage, and we used these yellow words to fill in the vocabulary words for page 151. Again, if you need to fill that in, we're going to hop into PowerPoint, pause this video right quick, and then fill that in. Moving on for page 151, we did some stations. We want to see what evidence do they have for evolution? How can we prove that things have changed over time? To begin, we put these statements in order, A, B, C, D, and we wrote down the two purposes of this activity, so that's 151. Then we did stations. We had six stations that we had to complete around the room that covers page 151 all the way through page 156. If you didn't don't have the stations complete, in our Google folder, you're going to open evidence for evolution station and complete those stations before you come to class tomorrow. I'm going to start on page 157 at the bottom of page 157. You did a little bit of practice. The top of page 158, you did practice as well. Mechanisms of evolution, so how things change or why things change. Well, let me go back first. On page 155, under you try it, you told me which example match up to which piece of evidence. And then on page 155 at the bottom, you use these four evidence for evolution to show me how organisms changed over time or how organisms came from a common ancestor. All right, perfect. Moving on, moving on. We got these notes. If not, you're going to access them in our Google folder. Mechanism of evolution is what we did on one last Wednesday through another at puzzled activity. We watched this video to help us answer the questions at the bottom of page 158. You can go back to the Google Drive, open this PowerPoint, click on this video and watch it if you need help. Page 159, 160, and 161 we skipped. From 162 we started by writing some notes down. These notes are also available in our Google Drive if you need to go back. After we took the notes, we did the practice on page 164 and the top of page 165. So far, everything in our packet should be filled in all the way up to the page 164. Let's talk about 165. On page 165, we have to classify some organisms. We want to figure out how does scientists organize all of these different organisms? How do they know which organism goes into which group? In order to begin that, we did this classifying example to where we had to separate these items into different groups and name the groups. We didn't do so. Don't use my example, but you can hop back in the Google folder to create your own example. We did some classification talking about how we thought in the beginning that all organisms can be categorized